everybody. <laughs> I'm trying to make two videos at once. I'm trying to do my crochet video. I'm picking something off the floor. And um, just a vlog. Today, I've been out and about. Oh, I didn't, I haven't been able. I need to just stop and look at them. But Mary Ellen went to go see Natalie. Oh, my God. I was just like, I was sitting in the waiting room. And so I was like going and I thought, well, I'm, you know, I'm trying to catch up. And I, I saw that. And like, I didn't get to see except maybe a third of it. But I was crying in the waiting room. It was like, how exciting Mary Ellen got to go see Natalie. I just, I think that when that happens on YouTube that, you know, you develop this because, you know, they say, you know, they're not real life relationships, but they are. People, you know, start talking and, you know, I mean, I'm telling you, I just, I choked up. I just thought it was wonderful. Well, today on my dance card, <laughs> I'm going to do my roots. So I thought I'd show everybody again. And I'm crocheting because I'm doing the crocheting video. And I'm not sure how much I'm really into crocheting today. So we'll see. Um, it doesn't take long to make a dish rag, but... I don't know. I'll turn the TV on. I need some coffee, like always, but I got up early. I had an appointment, and um, that's why I was in a waiting room. <laughs> I was, um, <laughs> you know me, how I look around for information. I found this site, Bare Necessities, and they were explaining how to know your bra size. Now I kind of like loosely remember this but so anyway you measure like around the bottom of your bra pretty tight and then you go around your bust line and whatever those two numbers are like if this one's 30 which <laughs> wasn't 30 on me trust me <laughs> it actually was 38 uh, and then it was, so you just subtract the under the bra line from around the bus line. You know, you go all the way around. And whatever that number is, then on, it was bare, B-A-R-E, necessity. They had a chart. Like for, it's basically for every inch is a cup size. So if there's a one inch difference, it's an A and then a B and so on and so forth. And so I basically just figured out, because I'd been fit for a bra back when I was like um, 32B. <laughs> that was long ago. I, <laughs> and so from my measurements, because I did this last night, <laughs> I just get into weird stuff, you guys. Um, I wear a 38D, but maybe a double D. Because, you know, it was like, exactly, you know, <laughs> I was, just anyway. So that's basically how you do it, is you just subtract the two numbers and how, you know, if it's a four, then it would be A, B, C, D, E, or double D, or E, you know. I don't know what they go after that. I only know D or double D. <laughs> A, B, C, D. That's all I know. Because <laughs> I, you know, it, being, it, oh, especially after the swamp color, getting the swamp color fix, um, being the broke girl I am these days, <laughs> I, I was looking at the bras at Ross, and they had some pretty nice bras. For like five ninety nine, six ninety nine, seven ninety nine, but I was going. Oh, but what size would I buy? Because I think the last several bras I bought were for um, Macy's. And they were Bally's. Um, 
Bally is just a standard bra that my family has always, all the women in my family have always worn. So anyway, if you want to know your bra size, just get out the tape measurement. And so I'm going to actually go to Ross and, and buy a couple. For the price, why not? Um, so we'll see how well my methodology works. If I can figure this out and they can actually fit nicely. So, because my bras are all worn out. <laughs> they were really bad. So I need to change my shirt to dye my hair. That's why my hair is like all, all fancy today is because I'm just going to be doing my roots. So I'll see you on the flip side while I'm dyeing my roots. So I have once more lost my glasses, I swear. So anyway, I put all black on and I even put long sleeves on now because I am so bad at doing this. So this is, I'm going to show you exactly you know, what this setup is. This little, I don't know, clear bin and brush, I saved from a, a Clairol root kit. I get three root kits out of one hair dye. And I use 3.0 darkest um, brown. And it's Garnier. I love this stuff. And I put the dye in a plastic bag just because it's metal and I'm not sure how well it seals. I have one tablespoon. These are my antique. I wouldn't use them for food because they're probably aluminum. And that's the developer. So I take and I put one of each of these in this and I'll show you that. So that's one teaspoon, one teaspoon, and I, you know, I don't do them like exact science. Um, and I'm going to stir them well. And I start as I stir them. I start the timer for, I think it's 40 minutes. Um, or 45. I start timing it on the stove. Because once they're combined, to me, that's the chemical reaction is started. So, as you can see, <laughs> I did it. I'm, I'm not good at doing this. I mean, I don't profess to be. Um, the pro and con of using a, 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 just a box of dye versus like Clairol's dye, uh, root kit is, I believe the root kit is 10 minutes. This... I leave on 35 minutes because I check my notes. Um, I just need to now figure out how long it lasts. I think pretty long because I think about a month, four to five weeks. Um, which the rate my hair grows, that's that's excellent. Uh, so the the con is it takes longer. Um, and you have to mix it up. And like I said, I normally get three root kits. Um, two if my daughter does it, because she does the official, you know, <laughs> parting your hair. Me, I just kind of do, like, I do this because I have a middle part. And then I do the back, and then I do back here. Um, and that's it. Hey, as long as I can't see most of the... And I always miss somewhere. It, it, I mean, it looks like everything's covered. I, every time I do it, it looks like everything's covered. But no, I end up with some white hair somewhere. Uh, the pro to do it is because you can get three. You know, they basically cost almost the same price. I think the dye might be a dollar more. Um maybe two depending on where you buy it and so you're getting basically three root kits for just a little bit more than one um and uh -oh. i have been doing it this this way for i don't know four or five boxes of dye so probably a long you know like close to a year now and i like it i'm not changing um 
so one of the things I was, as long as it's fashion, <laughs> seems to be fashion day, <laughs> as long as my roots are developing, <laughs> you know, and don't forget to take off your earrings, and if you get it on your glasses, don't worry about it, just rinse them off. I used to, like, have, like, you know, dye glasses. You don't need them, you just rinse them off. Um, one of the things that I've been asked literally in the last week is about after five attire, cocktail attire to formal wear. And so I thought I would discuss this. Um, in my town, it's not, um, basically, one, you should know your audience. I mean, are they really fancy people or do you just need to wear a nice dress? maybe, you know, some heels or a very nice pair of sandals. Um, but I mean nice, like silver shiny or something, you know. Um, but I always go for, when in doubt, I wear a black cocktail dress. Um, it is a black dress that is um, beaded. I, I guess I could get it and show it to you. Um, and um, I have a nice set of pearls um, and a nice pair of um, black shoes. Um, I also have just a plain, literally cap sleeve, A-line black dress and again pearls. The one, number one mistake I see people wear do, don't take your purse. <laughs> do not take your purse. Do not. I, I have this. Uh, this is my granddaughter's evening purse. <laughs> but it actually would work. It, it would be a nice purse. You need a little clutch with chain without. Some people use the chains. I don't. I, I literally use them as clutch. Um, I, matter of fact, I keep <laughs> an extra one in the trunk and high heels. And Because if you have a nice dress on, you're going to be fine. Now, do you have to wear a dress? No. Um, Amanda had several Christmas events to go to. And she's not she doesn't like her legs so she doesn't like showing it get yourself a nice pair of satin or velvet pants um with a silver top you know glittery or as much she got one that had it was um silver but kind of not overstated but it had beautiful beaded work on it um and silver shoes Silver is my preference. A lot of people use gold, but I just think silver looks better. And, you know, the black, and she bought a pair of black satin, and then she turned around and bought red satin, which I advised her not to, because they're very hard to mix the, you know, to match the reds. Reds, The silver didn't look that good with it. So, when in doubt, I say go black. But if you don't have, a little black dress wear the best dress you have but please don't wear anything plunging or too revealing uh, especially if you don't know your audience um, uh, it's, it's just better but I mean you don't you just take the best dress you have out of the closet make sure it's nice and pressed put on some nice jewelry and just but don't take your regular purse. And if you, by chance, don't have a clutch bag or an evening bag, leave your bag in the car. And if you need something, go out and get it. <laughs> and just carry your phone around. It's really these days. Just please do not talk on the phone at it if you're going to a, a you know, dinner. That bugs me more than anything, is people talking on their phone at a, at a really nice dinner or texting. No. I'm I'm of the school. The phones do not belong at the table. 
helped. So that's my advice on evening wear, but know your audience. Um, but I never think anything is plunging or real revealing is good for most events. Um, the few formal events I go to, um, I have friends that have really nice long dresses and I normally borrow one. I am not the long dress. I have not actually ever found a long dress I liked. I mean, I, I find them in summer dresses. I find hundreds of them. But as far as extremely formal, um, so I basically just normally end up borrowing one. I, luckily we all wear about the same size. Oh, and good undergarments. Spanx, 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 and more Spanx. <laughs> one should always have good undergarments. <laughs> Um, I myself go bare-legged, bare-legged, I know, you know, but I always do a fake tan. I mean, I'm, 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 I, I will pull out stockings, I, and if I do, they're nude. Um, but I don't, I don't like to, but I will. If I think the, if I really don't know my audience at all, I will go with my simple black dress, my pearls. I have a really nice um, leather, black leather clutch that matches my heels, and will put on my nude stockings. I I just I dislike stockings, and I have always disliked them. So that's my advice on formal wear. <laughs> so I'm waiting for my hair to develop. I think I can't see. I think I have 16 more minutes. Well, my roots are done. Oh, and this is my dye towel. You have to have your dye towel clothes and stuff. And, you know, then it's not like, oh, oh, God, I've wrecked something. No, we don't ever want to get into that. I'm hungry, and so I'm going to eat one of these bistro. I love the Santa Fe one. It's got cheese, chicken, great salad dressing, and corn. So I'm going to eat this for lunch. I love these because I mean, it's like having a really nice salad with very little effort, and I really love that. Because <laughs> if you ever like wanted a salad, I mean, you want a salad, but you don't want to cut everything up. Oh, that's me all the time. Hey, but I made my uh, cake. I finally got it done. <laughs> I made it last night. <laughs> the event that I bought this to take, um, to... <laughs> I just went to Safeway and bought something. But I'm going to have to, like, cut it up, hunk it up, and give... I've got... I hear one of my neighbors isn't, she's having a little bit of a hard time, her and her husband. Um, and so I'll make a big giant hunk for them. And then I'll take, of course, Jesse, the, the um, crazy neighbor, some. So, but it tastes really good. It's that milk chocolate, and I put nuts in it because I have a whole bunch of frozen. Um, somebody gave it, they, it was a sale. At, like it's always a sell like at Costco or Sam's a big bag of walnuts so I just threw them in the freezer <laughs> so I thought oh, I'll put some walnuts in <laughs> then I put powdered sugar on it but it kind of like disintegrated into it <laughs> oh well <laughs> but it tastes really I really like the milk chocolate but I'm not super into sweet sweet things like unless it's like the whipped cream icing that you can buy on stuff. Um, I'll eat that. But if it's that, you know, really sweet icing, I don't like it. So, I'm going to eat a salad. Well, I think that's probably it for the blog. 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 I think that's it for today.
Well, I'm crocheting. I'm, like I said, I'm making a video within a video. My hair is done. Looks fine. Feels fine. Um, you know, so, I mean, if you want to try it, it's really, to me, just be sure to wrap the metal one, if you, the die, which it will come in a metal one, um, to preserve it. <laughs> and I don't, I don't know, the chemicals are pretty harsh in a hair dye. Um, they, they, they just are. Um. Uh, but, you know, I mean, economically, it's really a great way to go. Three for the price of one, almost. Uh, well, I'm going to finish taping. Um, you know, finish this and then taping that. And I'm watching Survivor. And I had a good, um, salad. Salad was good. But, you know, I'm so... I'm, <laughs> I am. I mean, I love eating salads, but I'm really lazy about cutting everything. <laughs> it's not like, okay, maybe I could cut everything up if I bagged it separate. No, it still sounds like too much work to me. Yeah, it's too much work. Um, uh, so, you know, those salads, and I don't remember... How much are they're not much? I mean, I mean, look, I ate it all. But I like this the Santa Fe one a lot because you know, I just it's it's pleasing to my palate. Um, my son likes the Cobb salad the best. Um, oh, I talked with my daughter today. They're going to Sullivan Island for dinner. Um, it seems to be a traditional Friday night thing to do. Um, but I got to see her. <laughs> she was so funny. Because when I FaceTimed her, um, she was, you know, literally going out the door to get the kids. And they lived just a few blocks. Um, and she has a sign that has the kids' first and last name on them. And... <laughs> And the sign has to be on the dash. And then they get the kids and they put them at different cones. And some lady will go, cone three. She says, I mean, it was just so funny how meticulous and formal this event was just to get children, two children out of school. I mean, I'd be, I'd be scared to do it. It's like, I wouldn't know the rules. <laughs> I'd probably get screamed at. You know, like in the movies, you know, when they, like, are screaming and screeching at the person who's not following the, the rules. I was just laughing hysterically. I had my daughter laughing. And, they, you know, and then you know, the kids got in and I was just telling them, God, I'm so glad I'm not there. I'm not brave enough to come get you from school from that one. <laughs> but, yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to sit here and... um just crochet <laughs> uh, see what's what's on the dance card for dinner tonight uh, it's steak um, a tenderloin um, for those that want to know the cut um, I have some mashed potatoes left over and green beans so be to steak mashed potatoes and green beans well I love you guys <laughs> I hope you enjoyed all my fashion hints and stuff. That probably will sound real ridiculous when I start looking at this. <laughs> well, I love you guys and everybody. Thanks for watching. Take care. Mm -hmm.